Welcome back to the Heart and Soul in Sports with yours truly, Tony. I got a special guest here, Lorenzo yeah. Thomas. Now, it took me a while to get him here, but I said I was going to get him here. Sometimes you say the best for last. No, 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 that's it's right. Good things right. come to those who wait. All right, well, let's yeah. dive right into it. Uh, let's go. Let's get into this uh, J Jay Norvell comment. Listen, like I was saying, Jay Norvell, right? Mm -hmm. The game is, is almost passing him up. Yep. And he's scared that times have changed. And, and players want something different. Prime got to come in with his whole demeanor. People mm -hmm. scared of that. They don't want yeah. that. They want you to be buttoned up and, and doing the old, old good old, good old system, boy. Yeah, they, that's what they want. That's all they want. And if you don't rock the boat, they're good. But when you come in and rock the boat and you win, now they're scared. Well, so the thing I'm like, if I'm finna play you next, you're the last person I'm finna pick with right I can't now. Pick with, but but you that can go two ways. Yeah, it can. That, that it could add to my to the opponents mm -hmm. bulletin board, or it could get under their skin to where they make mistakes because they want to beat you. Now they make mistakes, so it could backfire. It could work one or two ways. They but got about that, twenty one points on you. Yes, work. but at this point, listen. What do they have to lose? What Nothing. does Colorado State have to lose? Nothing. So I can just say what I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm already zero and one. Hey, yeah. now, yeah. see, that's the problem. You run in your mouth and your players might not can bag it up, though. They can't, see. <laughs> they're the ones that's got to bag it up. You, all you do on the sideline is call plays. That's it. Play, and play calling is, is I ain't going to say it's simple, but it's either going to work or not. You Everybody calls a play that they think is going to work. That's they right. might lose y'all, they might gain, whatever. But they're the ones got to bag it up. They got to put up with that offense, which I think is a pretty good offense. A really good offense. It, it's fast. Um... And they're going to give a lot of teams problems. I looked at their schedule to start this season. And I said they could easily go 500. Just start the season. That, that, that conference they beat strong. USC. That's all they can do is beat one or of them. Or one or two. One or two. two. One or two. They can beat one, one of them. They good. If they beat the first one, the heart. See, and the thing about either, neither one of those are physical teams. Nope. Which is Colorado's kryptonite. A physical, especially oh, D-line. Yeah. A physical D-line is going to give them a problem. Big time. If, if neither one of those teams have that. If a shootout, Colorado can shoot out with them. They got running backs. They got receivers. They got the skill players. They got one at home. I can't remember which one is at home. I don't know. I, I think it's, it might be USC they got at home. I think USC. I think yeah. Oregon is in Eugene. But I, I, this is my thing with Jay Norvell. When he was at Jackson State, I don't remember hearing you yes. saying anything about it. Because he's, he's in your territory now. That's what I was say. He was in his own place. Yeah. He's in his place. But see, and I go back to say this: it, it's it's always underlying racism when you look at school stuff like is. that. That's, of course it because is. why? Why do you have to say it? Take your hat hat off and sunglasses. Who cares? I mean, that's a whole man's to me. Well, you, you, if, even if you said that, which was, I want to say something. I'm trying to hold back and not cuss, but they're <laughs> making it very hard for me to do. But even if you say that, don't put don't put your mother stuff on the end of it. Yeah. That's the way I was raised. Yeah. To oh, me, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. shot. Oh, that's definitely that's a shot. A shot that's, a, that's definitely a shot. Now, that's when you take the person because now yeah. you're talking about a man and mom. Yeah. Because that's, that, that's what he going to see. Yeah. And he don't, and I would take it like this. I, I'm going to take it like this. It's deeper than that. Now oh, it's yeah. about my mama or whoever raised me. That's about that's that. That's a problem now. That's a problem. So I'm running school see, now. If I was going to hold back, and, I ain't holding no more. And see, not only that, certain people, and then he probably won't take it there, they take offense. Now, now it becomes physical. Anything can happen because you said this. And see, people forget that just because you say something, people, oh, that's the first thing they say. Well, that's a free country. I say they want you. Yeah, you can say what you want to say. behind it. But don't be surprised the man slap you. That, that, I ain't that, shaking that, your hand in half. That's, that's what I'm saying, though. Now, now what's the problem? He want to shake your hand? He want to kiss you? Well, when I, if, if I'm up 70 points, I'm going to go to the half. Yeah. He'll take my hat and sunglasses off. Is satisfied? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's what but, I want to do. But I don't risk getting my players injured because you get up yeah. too big. If they get up I'm too big. I'm taking them out. You take them out because the game gonna get chippy. I yeah. think it gets oh, chippy, yeah. and it may get chippy early because his players, that coach, mm -hmm. no coach gonna um, players gonna have his mindset. So mm -hmm. they gonna play a little chippy. They gonna play a little edge. Um, so they they're playing to hurt versus playing to win, and that's what you gotta guard against. They, you, you don't think uh, Hunter has a target on his back? Oh yeah. Shiloh has a target. They oh, got yeah. targets. That quarterback they wanna hit him. That Problem man, is uh, warning to. And able to, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's two different Listen, things. See, I want to catch them on the sideline by they feel, and I want to knock them out of bounds with a coach at, <laughs> yeah. and then just look at them. But listen, I, I've seen him play. The quarterback, he's pretty good. He's mm -hmm. got a good side. He's 6'2". Colorado State? Colorado. Uh, oh, Shiloh. Shiloh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he got a gun. I saw him. I 
forgot who he threw it to, but he 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 has a cannon now. He and he can, can run. He's very mobile. And he can throw it on the run. But I'm, he's been working saying, a long time. If now this could work against your players because they get blown out. I think it will. Oh, I'm, I, I, yeah, I, I think it will. That. I don't think Colorado State is, is up to that level. And, and no. Colorado is really not. They they're hot right now. You know yeah. they're the hot team. And everybody wants to see them. See people watching Colorado want to see two things. You want to see them succeed or see them fail. That's it. That's the only you, two. Like you, you don't like the average nah. Colorado fan. They're they're there, but everybody that's watching wants to see Prime fail, and every, oh, yeah. and, and the other half want to see him win. You know, people at Jackson State, Matt Jackson State, want to see him fail. They do, but here's the problem with that. They they're missing a the bigger picture. Prime had to take that job and she he, had to. because. He's opened the door for another no, black coach coming right. from an HBCU to yep. get a job there uh, at, a, at, a, at a Power Five. Yeah. You, so he had to take it. He couldn't just stay there. And he probably he probably wanted Jacksonville State. Yeah. Mm. But you limit yourself. Now you're limiting your players. You're limiting other coaches. That's right. So I, I heard the argument Prime should have stayed that he could do so much for HBCUs. Yeah, yeah you but know. you're not elevated as high as you can go at that point. But look, look at, so. before he starts speaking up, look at the... Um, the college athletes from HBCU that didn't get drafted that should have got called into a, um, yep. a meeting or something. They didn't. Now they're getting recognized saying, you know what, it's some talent there. Which they know is there anyway. But they use it to say, you know what, we can get them guys undrafted. We can get undrafted free. What, what makes him, what his situation in Colorado is so unique is he had 80, what, 83, 87 new players? I think 83. 83? Eight, eight, yeah, 83. That has never been done before, listen, if I'm not mistaken. Listen, but just like any other job, Mm -hmm. if, if a company takes over whatever company you work for, and they come in, they're going to bring their own people in, right? They're going to bring their own They're going to fire everybody in there. So it's the same thing. I That's think, business. I think what got him most I'm mad when he came to Colorado, he said, I got my quarterback already. So I don't yeah. care who the quarterback <laughs> was. <laughs> Listen, not only that, he said he, had, he brought his own luggage. But this, the whole the whole thing that rubbed him wrong, because they do it all the time. People forget that scholarships. A year to year basis. That's right. So you guy games, you might get rid of them, but you don't say it publicly. And they Dion just said everything yeah. that they said privately, he said it publicly. Yeah. So what what's the problem? Is it you know, you upset because I said it. Yeah. And because, and because I'm winning. That, they, that, so, the winning yeah. part is the worst part. That's the worst part. Yeah. If you lost and said it, see they could say, see I told you it wouldn't work, it mm -hmm. wouldn't work. But now he's winning. And then next year, when they or is it next year or the year after, I think it's next year, when they make the leap to the Big Twelve, he's gonna recruit even more. Like, that I transfer think, to Portland ain't no joke. This, it, it helps you and it, it, it hurts, hurts you. Yeah. It can hurt you, but it helps a lot of teams now. Yeah. It, yeah. it helps so many. You look at some of these ones that's when they lost players, but they gained a lot because guys want to say, you know what, I want to go play for this coach. Yeah. And now I don't have to sit out. Which you shouldn't have to sit out. I think that he got two players that should have been the Highland talk. He's the quarterback. He's Quarterback definitely And be. the two way player. Yeah, yeah. Number uh, one, Travis, 12, Travis. Travis. Yeah. He's got to be in there. If you don't have him in there, it's a damn shame. And, and I see what, what's going to put him out there. I think they, they got the little buzz. These two games, the Oregon and USC game, mm -hmm. those going to be the ones that one of them is going to jump to the forefront. If, if Shiloh he, plays well. If they lose, but it's close. Uh, I think it'll still elevate him. And it depends on how, how Hunter plays. Um, that Because he. He can do so much on both sides, which I'm, I'm scared that not only does he get hurt, but he get tired. Which Gotta I know be. he's in great shape. Gotta be. But you think about it. Just just say just say they win out and win the conference. Now you're looking at a, another couple of games because yep. you know you got the uh, conference championship. Then you have potential playoff. So that's a lot of games that you play on both sides. Is he gonna be wore out if he goes to the NFL? He's gonna be wore yeah. out. Of it. And that's what they're looking at. Is is he damaged goods? Which I think the guys and he's so young. There's no difference in, in kids playing That's sports like all idea. year. They play sports all year. They yeah. play football. Oh, right. They stay in shape. So the guys, he's conditioned. And I'm sure they hydrate him like all, right. all day, every day. So what I would do is if you got a 30-point lead, he's done. I got to save him. If on it's one side of the ball point. anyway. I At least on one side receiver. of the ball. But they got enough receivers, man. They, I, what is that, Joe Horn Jr.? The boy is nice. They, 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 they got some players that... With them or without them, they they go special offense defense. Yeah. They need offensively. I think they'll be okay without him. But he helps now. He helps everybody oh, else. Man. Well, it's easy when you playing cornerback and you play receiver. You got you know tendencies. You know what the receiver and that, that helps you yeah. on on the defense side of all too. Yeah. Exactly. But most most cornerbacks don't have hands like he has. That's right. He got receiver hands. And so receiver. <laughs> 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 now 
uh, we, we, uh, me and Henry got into about TCU. Me, I didn't think, now, nah, it's a good win. I just didn't think TCU was that good in the first place. They was not. They Man, was that's not. What I, I mean, it's a good win, and they hyped them up to be. Yeah. People, they get so caught up of, of what someone did last year, and I think that, that hurts certain teams like TCU. They, they lost a lot. They lost a the quarterback, but I didn't think they were that good. I didn't think they deserved it. Well, Georgia that. showed that. Yes. Yeah, yes. I didn't think they deserved to be that, but they uh, once they get that, they beat a Michigan. They beat a, a pretty good Michigan team, mm-hmm. so you can't take nothing away from them there. But with them losing so much, and you know, I just I didn't think that was enough. But again, you take that win, you, you take the win. You can't you can't diminish it and say, well, that was a, a bad win because that win, win that win put them in the top. Uh, they put them 25. in the top twenty-five. So now they were number fourteen. Now did they go? Out? I think they went up to fourteen. I'm a little. They may, maybe. Oh, we got. I, I, I was now. thinking like, cause once they beat um Nebraska, I thought they dropped down to like twenty. They got oh, it in twenty five. Might be them. wrong. I think they're in the they're in the top twenty. They yeah, like nineteen twenty something by now. Yeah. Twenty one at the most. Eighteen. 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 That's still good for still them. Good. When has Colorado been relevant? And Colorado had did that since the nineties, like legitimately the nineties. When they were a powerhouse. Yeah, them days over with that was Yeah, well, they were. I don't know I don't know what the future gonna bring. No, no, no. Right now. now, Prime's getting paid a lot of money. He's gonna get paid a lot more? I think. But if he doesn't make because I think he, everything he does, he's auditioning for the, for the next, next Yeah. He I wants got a, a, he wants an NFL job. I got he wants that job. To get to the NFL, you're gonna have to get a higher profile college job. And I think I got the job from. I don't know. Which the, job? the duck boy. Was it Art? Uh-uh. Not the duck, the, the Aflac duck. Oh. You know him and Saban do them duck things. Yeah, yeah, Saban can't coach forever now. Yeah, I, I think Saban's going to be in there. And see, this is the, the issue. Saban don't do it a lot of coaching anyway. He just sit there. Nah, he don't do anything. And that's why he's losing right now. Yeah. I say losing, but offensive coordinators and defense coordinators. Defense has been garbage. Don't since, don't really don't since Kirby left. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I put that out there. Since Kirby yeah. left, our defense has not been good. Offensive coordinator. I don't know if this guy's a fit simply because I don't, I don't like his play call. I don't think he's familiar with Milrose, what he can he do. Can't, he can't, he can't. And I don't think from, uh, Milrose is familiar with him. So but, their chemistry is not there. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the elephant out of the room, man. Texas liked to beat us with Bryce Young last year. Texas, Bryce Young has to do it. No, Texas, Texas against Texas should have been. Well, it should have been. Bryce they Young made this transition. Year. The thing about Texas, what people don't understand, Texas got a big defensive line. They don't, they think they, they don't, but yeah. so, Sarkeesian, see, that's another thing. Sarkeesian knows that dog on offense and how to beat the defense at the same time. He coached it with it and he coached against it. How much does he really know what a new offense supporter is? Because he should be bringing his own play, so Sharp really should know all that. Yeah, I think it's like just, you don't really got to know him. You just got to be better at what you do than what they do. And his, his thing would say, well, let's, because he, he knew what Milrose had. He knew yeah. he was. Unproven, not saying yeah. he was a, a, a scrub or anything, but he knew he was unproven. He knew yeah. he hadn't had his feet to the fight. So let's put pressure on him. You know, let's step one. Well, let's let's, let's make him to to block. It was supposed to be. Let's make him pass the ball because he hadn't shown he was consistent in that. So those are things that you know you don't have to know but, their playbook. To but make the thing play. is, if you give him time. He yes. can go downfield. Yes. I'm but when you I can't give, it. if you don't give yes. nobody time. He ran for his life. He <laughs> ran for his life. <laughs> and, and, what happened to this big offensive line with three players that's 360 that can't 360. run block? You can't 360. run block? Come on. You should take two. You should, it, they should not get past. Shouldn't be. Listen, you three, three 360, y'all the whole line. That's the whole line? Y'all the whole offensive line. Well, you got a center who don't know the snap count. Yeah. yeah. They, they look hard. And, but oh, but people are putting it all on Milro. I, I saw that. No, it wasn't I saw that game. It's not. Okay. It's, it's, he did a lot of good. What about uh, um, number three, the cornerback? If they can yeah, keep his listen, eyes out the backfield. Listen, they, they're so worried about instead of playing their position, do what yeah. they're supposed to do. Listen, you 20 yards away from that man. <laughs> you can't what do can you do? Can't if he get any run, you can't do anything. So, listen, just, just play your position. Don't let the ball get by you. Don't he was no, but he didn't let him get by him. Yeah. Holding on to his jersey most of the time. Uh, listen, listen. <laughs> if you stop the play, I'm good. Sometimes a pass and finish is not a bad thing. Not, if you say two of them one, it's a touchdown. But, but then we got two touchdown called back off dumb penalties. Offensive line downfield. I saw that, which uh, it's kind of ticky tack. And then the holding. 
Yeah, but I mean, some some sometimes they call it, sometimes they don't. Yeah, but but the fumble yeah. one got me. Ooh, you know, they, they snapped the ball to the quarterback oh, and hit him. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then other dude. I understand the rule. No, I don't understand the rule. I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand that. I thought a fumble you can't advance it. Only the quarterback. I thought only the quarterback could advance it. No, anybody can advance the fumble because it's a fumble. But then they said if the quarterback had it and fumbled, he would be the only one who can advance it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, either way, we I'm didn't get it. it. I'm gonna look at that. We but, didn't get but it. But on a fumble, anybody can, because that's just like a scoop yeah. in, 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 in uh, carry. So. I want to know how the center keep screwing up the snap count. Listen, when, when you, you may be nervous, though. He, the center got a lot of because he's calling out a lot of plays, too. He's probably picking up the blitzes and this and that. Don't pick but the ball up, though. You should not. <laughs> just don't put but your hand listen, on that to his snap. I saw this thing. The center should never get a false start or anything. No. You ain't the ball. So if anything, everybody else is late. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it shouldn't be you. But we got if, if and, and not to 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 go up to, to knock your point home. If I'm twenty yards downfield, ain't that not gonna affect in the backfield? If they need a third and ten, why are you falling for a three yard fake? Let them catch it. Let them catch and it. And tackle. That's it. You think that, that's that simple something. football? I think they're overcomplicating it. Um, the expectation is that is yeah, it is still an outside chance, but your first thing is you got to win the West. If you win the West, yeah, maybe win. meet the Georgia, maybe beat the Georgia team. I think you could probably get in. Georgia, I don't know what they are right now. Nobody does. I got to see them play something. They, they undefeated. I mean, they are undefeated. Now. now, if you look at the schedule, I think Georgia has the softest schedule. Uh, out of the top twenty-five, I think they got the weakest schedule. They have the weakest of everybody. So. I they they you. they play no one. Then you got Michigan. That's it. I'm, I'm gonna give Michigan a pass for these first three games just because their head coach is not there. So I don't I don't really know what I got with them yeah. yet. You know they got a um, I don't know who's calling the plays or who's calling the shots now, but you know the, the assistant. So I'm gonna give them a pass just because of that. If their head coach was there and they was playing this slow and sloppy, mm-hmm. I'm like. You know, I can say something. What about but, Ohio State? Ohio State ain't really impressed. They have not. They to, have not. To, to be where they at, they have not. That's why I think it's wide open. But yeah. the good thing about those teams, they play. They got to play each other. They're, they're not each other. One of them, one of them definitely is not going. Which mm-hmm. I, I, this year, it's kind of hard. I would probably, just because I think Ohio State has more skilled players than Michigan. And, and you look at, um, what's what's the young guy? Marvin Harrison Jr.? Yeah. He's a beast. I don't trust Michigan quarterback. No. Nah, that, yeah. That's just that's just. But based I mean, on what I've have seen. you ever? When's the last time you? I ain't never trust a Michigan quarterback. You know, Michigan is they're more ground and pound, and then they're optimistic when they when they get an opportunity to score. You know, or throw the ball, they'll do that. But they never been a great. What you think about the ACC is better, or is everybody else <laughs> worse? <around? laughs> so I was looking at Clemson. Now I watched the Duke game. Duke really look good against Clemson. Clemson. Against Clemson. But how I don't good know is Clemson? That, that's the question. <laughs> they fumbled the ball and they gave Duke the ball, you know, when Clemson probably should have scored. But that defense, they look legit yeah. for, for them. So we'll, we'll see. Well, you got Duke. Listen, but I'm glad Clemson also. Oh, I'm always glad I'm Clemson. Yeah, if they go 0 10, I'm good with that. At what but point that, is Dabo job going to be talked about? I think look, just because he won a couple of chips, he's okay. He's okay. Yeah, but Sunshine ain't there no more. Or, or Deshaun. Or Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Washington. took him to the championship. Yep. Won one, lost one. So I think yeah. we had a defense at we had, that we could had, stop we had, somebody we at we some had a point. Good defense. We had, and see, I think the defense, we've never had just a, I don't know if we ever had a, a total just. We had an like Upshaw and Hightower with But that's what I'm saying though. But, but it was always the linebackers was great and maybe yeah. the line and they made up for the secondary. Or, That's right. Or when we the had secondary, a, uh, a great secondary. What, what's the guy? I ain't, uh, he's an NFL. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But we had a great secondary. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? It was never just, oh, our line is great, our secondary and linebackers. We had one or, one or the other, maybe two. I'd rather have the front seven great because then you don't give them time to throw the ball to expose the line. Expose and, the cornerback. Yes, and, and that's what was happening. Yeah. 
And but lately, man, we just getting whooped everywhere. Like we're getting a third and twenty five, and they will get a first down every time on a passing play. Well, we got a cornerback that's looking in the backfield. Like There's the no back. way you're supposed to get a first down when you. I'm gonna back off you ten yards and see what you're gonna do. That's all you have to do. I ain't gotta do anything. And don't fall. They like they fall for the crossing pattern. They come yeah, across yeah. there, catch it. It's the first down. Come on. What happened to man to switch? What happened to man to man? That's simple. If you, if we don't, but. Nobody communicates. So we out there, we already know hope. If, look, if this play comes through, we're going to switch or we're going to man. It's just like, you, you can't do nothing else. It's just like basketball. Yeah. If, if a pick comes, you switch. Or, or, you know what I mean? But you call it out. They fall for the pick. It ain't a pick. It's just, they just, it's, cross, it's a crossing pattern. Yeah. You want to get in the way. Just in the way. That's all it is. So I'm just going to say, I got, if you come in, I got number such and such. And I go back. If it crosses, just well, number three ain't. He too busy looking in. I don't know too busy looking in the backfield. One of them is definitely a fake. But if it comes open, come on. If it can't, you know, like I said, it can't be that hard. Up. But you can't, you can't get a first down. Right, like our defense thing. is really good. First and second down. Third down kills us. Well, I mean, third. If we can get them, a t- if we can get them in a third and thirty consistently, we might yeah. have a chance to get off the field. Yeah, you better hope the flags <laughs> come out. <laughs> that's the only way that's gonna happen. Now. Nobody said anything about it. I'm going to be the first one to say it. Auburn look horrible in California. Listen, I told them that. We was talking. I forgot what I was talking about, but I said they look good. I really thought they, they, they deserved to lose. They won, and, you know, you take a win, a win is a win. Yeah. But they really did not look good. What, Cowboys was six times in the red zone? Yes, but you want to tell you who, who's happier for uh, Auburn struggling than anybody? Yeah. Bo Nicks. Oh, yeah. Bo oh, yeah. Nicks with the Oregon is in the Heisman uh, conversation, which – Everybody was like, Bo Nick should not be playing quarterback. But he found a spot. Is it the so, system? I think it is. I, because, see, they, they, I don't think they know who they want to be quarterback. They got two quarterbacks, and one of them is, is more of a, a red zone. Hey, let's run it. No, the other no. one broke. I think they need to just say. I'm getting the red I'm, zone first. Yeah. Get to use but them. now, I, the, I watched the first game. I didn't. I watched bits and pieces of, yeah. of the one in Cal. But. It was just, it was discretion. Yeah, I should have won that game. Yeah, yeah. so I think the third, they, they won third over quarter, late yeah, third. Right. And, um, I should have won. Let's look, let's look at um, Florida State. Listen, Is LSU know. that bad? It's kind of hard. It's so early. Look, those first games that... It's the feeling I stayed. Yeah, because you don't know what anybody got. So it's hard to say a team that... I know what Alabama got. They ain't got no dog on defense. Yeah. <laughs> But LSU, I think they, cause certain teams, they have a, a good year, and it's not really what they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and I think LSU is one of those teams. Not saying they won't have a good year. I think they'll play, especially Alabama. Everybody plays as tough. Well, at least we got them at home this year. Yeah, like, how much that counts, Yeah, right? at least we got them at home. But I think Florida State was just better that night. I don't know if they played them again, would that be the same outcome? You know, you never know. It's a talk. Because Florida State has never been consistent. No. But, the, but the quarterback, I would say this, their quarterback play actually looked way better than it has been in, in a few years. So You think Jumbo Fisher would regret coming to the SEC and Texas? He, he does not. He didn't. He didn't. He may now. Yeah. You know, the first year he was hot. Oh, yeah. And then, you know what got him? That same year he said he made the comments about saving. Yeah, yeah, I remember and that. And I think he beat us that year, too, though. After that, he, he's done nothing. So, and they paid him a lot of money. They paid him a lot of money, so I don't, I don't know if he. But te- I think Texas, even if A and M, they recruit itself. If you can yeah. just recruit Texas, you can stay south. Texas, Florida, Georgia, you get those and you're good. You got plenty of money. You got all money, so you're good. But is Texas out recruiting Texas A and M? If if they, I think they are now. Yeah. J- just because right now we got. Shark over there. So yeah. he, people want to play for, especially the offensive guy. Oh, yeah, because he's going to throw it. He's going to he gonna, he gonna throw it. He's going to get your quarterback. If you say, I got a quarterback that's going to throw the ball, yo, I want to play with him. As a receiver, you want to play with a guy that's going to get you the ball and can throw it around. Yeah, how the hell we couldn't get no pressure on him? Listen. At some point, that's somebody got to get his jersey. At man. some point. You think that. I, I don't know if we. See, you can be big. And just be big, you know what I mean? Like you no footwork. You have no footwork. Can't slide, you don't can't have a shoot. skill set, and, and not saying that's it because I think them guys are pretty good. But I don't. I don't think they were mentally prepared, and I think that's what happens. You know, when Alabama used to, they used to schedule a tough game the first game of the yeah. season. I think that helped because now you all off season you're focused on that team to start the season. Mm-hmm. You're not focused on 
uh, whoever they had the first game. It was a cupcake. Yeah, you're not focused on that because if you you wait all summer and all you know you got is is ball state, you're not gonna play hard. I mean, you're nah. not practicing hard. You're not putting in the work, and it shows when you hit the field. It sure shows fair. the work you put in. And I think that's what happened. Like you need to schedule those tough games. That, so now in your spring, you, you get it all together because you know you have a sense of urgency. They did. Well, and they got to ask for They probably need it. On they, both sides. Maybe it wakes them up. It wakes them up. I was about to say that they need that. Sometimes you need so you know. Maybe we're not as bad as we think we are. You can't just go out and win just because you got that jersey on. Or you got the A. I'm sure you good as you thought you were. You're not. You're not on, on no side of the ball. <laughs> no you are. The kicker. That was the home. He didn't miss no. He kicked a 51 yard. We never had a kicker that actually. Not consistent. Consistent. Yeah, yeah. not kicking 50. Listen, we had kickers that lost his game kicking a 30 yard, <laughs> a 25 yard. And, the, we, uh, and then we had the best kickers coming out every year. The Georgia game. Could have ended it. We didn't have to go to overtime. Oh, yeah, yeah. All I had to do was kick, yes, kick yes. Uh, what, a 30 something yes. yard field goal? He missed it, yeah. Missed is an understatement what he did. Yeah, that was a lot. I want to know was he, did, was he looking at the same field goal I was looking at? Well, he Maybe he was looking at another one. Listen, that's a lot of pressure for the championship. Yeah, like, you don't do anything but kick. That's all you got to do. That's all you got. They're not asking you to tackle. They're not asking right. you to do anything. Just all you got to kick the ball. What's the one that we had to play the shoot that summer gun come make a field goal to see? They ran him out of Alabama. Big kind of dude. Foster? Was the name Foster? Oh, crap. I can't remember his name. But he couldn't kick a field goal. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was one of, we had two field goal kickers. One of them couldn't kick long, the other one couldn't kick short. Then and we had one couldn't do either one. Yeah, we had, yeah. But it's crazy because, like I said, for like three, four years, we had the number one kicker in the nation to come there. We recruited. But once they got there, they were horrible. They were horrible. Number one at what? Listen, Five. They, in, well, high school anyway. They were number one kicker coming to college at least three years in a row. Three so they five stars to track four of them. Well, listen. <laughs> but again, if you just sitting there, because what kind of work does kickers really get Nothing. at practice? No, get a lot of work. kick field goal. That's what I'm saying. I, I, but if you're not getting game time scenarios, you just out there kicking with nobody around, just you and a oh, holder. You don't, don't yeah, I, I need you to kick this with somebody coming at you. But at some point, you know it's got to, it's going to happen. That it's you're going to have to hand the game. You can't sit there and study for your Kim final or nothing and be like, Man, oh, oh it's time for me. Yeah, you're not going to win. So. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's get to the NFL because that's a lot. Of, let's talk about the game last night, uh, the Eagles and um, Vikings. Vikings. Yes. Now, did the Eagles defense look that bad to make Kirk Cousins look that good, or is Kirk Listen. Cousin? Listen, no. Kirk Cousins is decent. I'm not a big fan of his, but he's, he, he's played he's played consistent ball unless it's Monday night. Then Monday night he chose it. But he put up some good numbers sometimes. But the defense, we look hard. We couldn't get pressure. We nope. were leaving guys open, basically wide open. We were blowing coverage, but we got a lot of people out too. Nice. And, and one of the biggest things, we've changed voices back there on defense. And what I mean by that, the defense coordinator, we got to do defense coordinator. Just like mm. the offense, we got to do offense coordinator. So now the, the stuff you're used to hearing, we used to play in a certain way, we don't yeah. play it. Because mm-hmm. we got somebody else calling the play. Different terminology. And right. look at look at the turnover we had with some of the players that left because we couldn't re-sign everybody. Yes, yeah. We lost a lot of players. And then we, after that, look at the injuries we got. But the secondary, a lot, we, we hurting right now. So to be 2-0, whether whether you struggle or not, it's still a blessing. You go, I think we go to Tampa this week. You know, we still got a chance to get everything. But the thing I really like, though, I like the running game. I think yeah. we had that, especially right now, because with our new office coordinator and Jalen and everybody yeah. trying to learn each other, which he's worked with that guy a long time. I think he used to be his quarterback coach, mm-hmm. maybe high school or something. Like, he's mm-hmm. worked with him a long time. But he hasn't worked with everybody else. I think this helps him, Jalen, get comfortable. So as the year goes on, they win. I think they open up the pass a little more. But I, from what I saw last night, they can run the ball like that. Probably won't get 200-something yards a game, 275. Mm-hmm. But I think that given that, it'll take the pressure off him. So well, you still got Devontae Smith, who's going to take the top off the defense every chance he can get. It's crazy. Playing fantasy football, I picked Deion, uh, Devontae. Devontae. That was my guy. I was Good like, pick. you know what? I got to pick him up. Just because I felt I didn't get Jalen, which I want to go Jalen and, and Smith. They ended up getting that good. Though. Yeah, Vontae was good. Yes, I ended up getting uh, crap. Tua, I got Tua and Waller. 
So it kind of made up for if he yeah. stays, if he stay healthy. I'm good. He put up some numbers. Tua did put up some numbers. He, he gonna put up some if he stays healthy. If he stay healthy. If he stay. Healthy. If he can learn to slide or run slide. out of bounds, if I or get, throw it away. Listen, throw it away. Get down. You gonna slide? Just get down. Listen. All you do is fall. That's just, just get down. Give yourself up. That's simple. Uh, don't take the big hit, which I think he will. I think he, he, he has most to gain and most to lose of anybody playing right now because everybody else is getting paid. Everybody else that yeah. was on the rookie deal has signed extensions. He's the only one yet to sign an extension. Mm. So, it, you know what I mean? This, so, it, this is a make or break for him. So, I think he's poised to have a good year. So, I don't think he wants to take the injury to put him out because he's looking at a tremendous payday if, if yeah. he stays healthy. Um, but back back to, to Minnesota, I think they they looked okay. Eagles, I think we just we just struggling right now. I, I, go, I don't judge the team until they get to the halfway point. Yeah, eight oh, games under well, the belt or something like that. Yes, but I can I can judge you if you go zero and two. Like, no, I judge you. Yeah, yeah, you zero and two like no. Minnesota. <laughs> now you fight up here a battle. Now you go into the next game like we it's a, every game which in the NFL every game is probably a must win. But it's really a must win for them because now we can be on the outside. Because you like a Detroit, it's probably going to be better this year than they have. Green Bay has. Green Bay is going to be there. Chicago. Chicago. Um, you might be Chicago, Chicago, but you never know what you're going to get with Chicago. You know what I mean? I, I don't think they have the weapons there. I, actually, I don't, I don't think their their head coach really knows what he want to do with, with anybody yet. Because one minute they want to run it, but they aren't sure, so they want to pass it. So you don't know what you're going to get. Are they scared that. Uh, uh, I can't think of the quarterback for Chicago. It's Justin, Justin Fields. Fields. Yeah. They, they scared he's going to put the ball in harm's way? But at some point, you're going to do it. As a quarterback, you, you're going to take matter. chances. Or, and it, you may be super protected of the ball, but you throw it and get tipped. The yeah. interception still counts as yours. Yeah, yeah. So, no matter what happens, you receive it, you can hit him in the helmet and bounce off. It still counts as yours. So you want to protect it, but you can't be scared to pass it. Because uh, two things going to happen. You're going to run him out of the league. Or you gonna run yourself out of the league? One or two. The thing is, not right right now. Green Bay gotta be smiling. Green Bay is smiling. You, you got, they oh, gotta they be have smiling. To, listen, Green Bay honestly has one of the biggest. And I knew this was gonna happen to me. I would be last year. I think they let Rodgers hold them hostage. I agree. For no reason. I agree. At this point, I'd be like, you know what? You want to move on? Let me see what I can get from you. Yeah. Cause how many more years he got? No, no. Well, he's definitely not this year. <laughs> definitely. And with an Achilles injury, I've had it. Yeah. You know, at least, you know. In what, that, what is that time frame? That's a year injury. So you thinking next year he'll be back, but you never know when. Hmm. For him to be. No, he's 40 now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and healing is a little, little different. But before he feels comfortable, it's going to be midway season next year. So and it's $5 million. It's a lot of money. Not to play. Not to play. It's First drive. Play. First I want to at least get you the third quarter, at least. They were, they were, they had high hopes for him. Wilson is not the answer. I just do not see Wilson being the answer. Listen, you, you know what's crazy? People say that, and I think that they go off of a person's path because people say that about Jalen, but Jalen yeah. won the Super Bowl. Listen, I remember years ago when what's his name uh, played with Florida. He ended up, he was. Um, Chicago's quarterback, no, Chicago Bears, when Lovey Smith was coaching. And he went You're to. Talking about that turnover machine? Was it Rex Grossman? Rex Grossman. No, no, the one that came out the Rex Grossman. No, no, but he took him to the champion. He took him to the champion. They played Tony. That's my point, though. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can win with a guy that you think is not that guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like people don't think um, this is your guy, but you still can win with But well, Jalen took you to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Got the lead. Defense can hold it. Defense fell for the same. Defense fell. Listen, they fell for Oka Dope three times. How you fall for the same play three times? <laughs> they did it. Three times. On a consistent basis. So what but, is the but, but you know the Jets reached out to Brady. Why? I, I don't get I get it, but you're not gonna get a Tom Brady of ten years ago, fifteen. You're gonna get this year's Tom Brady. Who hasn't played, this, you who hasn't worked this, out. This Brady. Tom this year's Tom Brady is gonna be like have you seen the commercials they got now with the players coming, NFL players coming back? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was getting told. Yeah. <laughs> this year, this Tom Brady's going to be like them guys. Uh, you don't so, want that Tom Yeah, you give me, if I'm them, like, just like Green Bay, look, it's time for, sometimes you got to say, you know what, let's move on from this. That's it. If, if, and I think Rodgers and, and, and uh, the head coach, they was clashing all the time, so he should have been. Oh, yeah. And it's crazy because the dude, 
you went 13 and two, 13, uh, 13 and, and, and three. Like you had great seasons. Rodgers had two MVP years under him. It wasn't a coach that no, couldn't get the big game. Rodgers messed up a couple of games now. Big time. In the playoffs, he the one lost him. So I think it was more of him than anything. I'm not, and I'm definitely not a fan of Rodgers. I'm uh -huh. not. Because I think he gets away with a lot. Well, he get a pass. He get a they don't criticize him. At all. When, when another player do the same thing he did, they'll make oh, it step and says to yeah. receive. It was uh, right with Cobb. Yeah. It was this, that. But when Cobb, when you didn't have him, kind of showed you what kind of quarterback you really was. Yeah. And it's just like, uh, what's that joker? Um, the, the, the league is going to mobile quarterbacks now. So, and, and that's another thing. Let me bring that up too. So, and I think that's what's hurting a lot of these players with these mobile quarterbacks. See, you, you take the average white coach, oh, they don't know what they got with a mobile quarterback. They no. used to a pocket pass. So, you need an offensive coordinator that knows this guy's skill set. So, you know how to use him. You can't buy a five speed if you never drove one or six speed. You can, they you got can tear it up. You're going to tear it up. <laughs> Boy, it's not going to work. It's just going to sit there. It's yeah. going to seem like, ah, oh, this car is garbage. But you need somebody that know how to drive that thing. Well, they might as well know it. And you might as well figure it out because that's what it's going to. It, oh, the it's, pocket passes, the, uh, the pass rushes are getting faster. Mm -hmm. Offensive line getting to the point you can't block these jokers. You got a 280 pound pass rusher. Listen, they, get, they get, the pass rushes get small. They, nobody's, over 300 oh, no, no, no. you get a few, but everybody won't be lean. They won't get to the quarterback. So everybody, everybody's fast in the NFL. Whether whether they 300 pounds or not, they're fast. So so you better have you better have some wheels as a quarterback. So you get a two a 250 pound defensive end against a 340 pound off uh, left tackle. Yeah. All he gotta do is get them off balance. That's He's it. gonna beat them around the edge with his speed. Every time. The white friend he was famous <laughs> of doing the spin move. Having you going yeah. win spin right off of you. This is the thing with Alabama with it, that puzzled me. You couldn't block that. Number, I think number ninety-one was in the middle. You had to, you know. Why didn't y'all get this dude some help? You knew he couldn't block him. Somebody needs help. Everybody needs a little help. You got a tight end that can run twenty-eight miles an hour, but you got to give him time to get downfield. It, 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 it takes time to get that speed up. You don't just go from zero to twenty-eight. No, nah. it takes a second. But they thought he could. But, but you know, you know what? They, I think play calling with that is if they're if they're coming at you rushing like that. You need some offset play. Let's dump it to the running back. Screen. Screen. Simple things. Get it out of his hand yeah. and keep the money. After that, that big play is going to come open. Yeah. Eventually, it's coming. But you got to say, you know what? Let me get it out of my hand. Let me get the screen pass. I know I know they're coming from this side. Let me throw it over here. How about match protection? And you can do that, too. Let me get two tight ends in. But they go. were beating three. They were rushing three sometimes to still get to the quarterback. And you got five up there. Oh, well, Listen, the offensive line coach needs some work, man. They, they, they need to find out what he's he's teaching because he's not working out. Well, the defense, you got to do something. You, you got to get pressure. I remember we had high tower upshot. We didn't have to blitz a lot. We, we did not. We did a lot. We did not do a lot of blitzing, but they got to the quarterback. I exactly. Think, I think you just got to go to the drawing board and say, you yeah. know what? Let's keep it simple. All this extra stuff, trying to uh, fancy the scheme. twist and all that. Let's stuff. just keep the defense simple and say, look. You see the ball, get yeah. the ball. That's Hit your it. man. That's it. That's all you do. Don't, don't anything else. We don't need. We ain't got to call the gadget plays or try to scheme for this. You ain't got time to do the gadget plays. Let, let, let's just hell. Play. You can't even do the three step drop right now. But that's what I'm saying though. Let, let's just keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. Simple sometimes is the best thing. Other than trying to do all this stuff. Go after the, go after the what is that? Kill yeah. the man with the ball. Kill the man with the ball. That, that's all they got to do. Just hit it. That's what well, I would do. Don't take a dumb penalty, but you know, hit it. Don't well, they were doing it. that too. Yeah. But now, some of these penalties you can't take. You, a lot of them you can't take. Some of them can be a heated moment, but you know when the guy's five yards out of bounds. You know he's out of bounds. I feel that's going to happen in the Colorado College State game. Oh, it's going to be nah, somebody. I can just see somebody going to be. But I, I think that's more Colorado State. Yeah. They, they're going to they're gonna have some stupid penalties more so because they want to win this game more than. I hate to say it, I think they want to win more than Colorado for the wrong reason. Colorado yeah. wants to win to show we're better. Colorado State wants to win just because we hate you. And you want to yeah, stay so you're not good. So, But then if you get beat by 40, that's showing that you're not good, which nobody would be surprised yeah, but, by that. And again, they have nothing to lose. If I know, so I, I, if I know that's, yeah, yeah. Should, should be a scary person. Yeah. I have nothing to lose. So now it gets chippy or, you know what? Let me try to take you out the game. Let me go for an ankle. Let me try to hit you low or something. Let me do something. Because I know I want to lose. 
You know the problem about that is you can't prove intent. No. So he, yeah. I, well, I just, he moved. At the, now, if it's the lip man on the ground and you do it. Yeah, but you, you can tell when somebody's targeting you. Yeah, when you they just it. going for the, they diving for the knee or something. Like, it, it, some, some things are obvious just because. Um, well, guess what? Just because, <laughs> um, one, the one or two things going to happen. You're going to motivate yourself or you're going to motivate the other team. Now, them are the two things for now. You ain't going to motivate both of y'all. Somebody going to come out on the losing end. Every time. In, in football, it will. You, you will. I just don't think if I'm already the underdog, I just don't see me I'm not, poking you right now. I'm not. But, but you ever seen little, little people always want to fight? The yeah. smaller you are, the, the, the feistier they, they yeah. are. And they just like to pick a fight. They probably can't fight, but they just want to, you know what? You know, sometimes that's you know you have to do that. You have to sell a wolf ticket. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna whoop you. A lot of ass been whooped by that wolf ticket. It, it has been. It has <laughs> been. But if I can trick you to think I got a chance, see, that's all I gotta do. I gotta trick you. And if I trick you, and if I stay in the game long enough, yeah, you know, I, I got a chance. I just need to hang around. But if you down twenty four to zero in the first quarter, oh, it's a wrap. It's, it's, it's a wrap. If you down 24-21, yeah, chances are you're not gonna win. So just keep it close. That's that's my thing. Just don't. Don't let them get away. Don't let the game get away from you that you can't come back. Because, Barn, I mean, you, you might get a pick six. You might get a fall. Yeah. Because when you up that much, people tend to get loose yeah. and relax. And that's when mistakes are made. Well, you just don't relax. want Colorado to get too emotionally vested yeah. into that. We want y'all, we want to we want play because what you said about Dion. And I think that's, I think that's, at some point, that's going to come back to bite them just mm-hmm. because they're playing. And because they feel like somebody's disrespecting them, right? You can't put that much energy in what someone says about you. Yeah. And says, you know what, I'm gonna play my game and I'm gonna do what I gotta do. That's it. Because I feel like I'm better. But if mm-hmm. I if I make you the focal point or you the energy of me winning or losing, I can't I can't succeed like that. You ain't gonna succeed. So well one thing we know, we know Alabama go to South Florida. That should be a win. It should be a win. I'm gonna say should be. Which and it's crazy because I think I think Milrose still starter, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if they get up early, they if they take win. a look up at another quarterback. Which I don't think. And I was fussing with someone about that. Milrose is athletic and couldn't get away from Texas. A stationary what? quarterback ain't gonna do that. What's the other two gonna do? Get sacked. They ain't gonna have 20 sacks. I know you ain't basing the other two off the first game. And they when you couldn't get any pressure off yeah, them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. But they, you know, a lot of times people always want to change. And I uh, had a guy, we argued, man, they ought to make him a receiver or this or that. I'm like, dude, his skill set is a quarterback. He's not a receiver. Trust me. If if, if Saban thought he could was a better receiver, yeah, he would have told him, hey, I'm going to bring you here, but I want you to switch positions. Yeah. He didn't have to switch positions. There was a reason for it. And plus, he knows the system better than the other two well, because yeah, he's right. been in it. But I, I think that he just needs work. First of all, he got to relax because he's, he's probably scared that he's looking over his shoulder every every play. I think he has to know that. Well, Nick Saban got to come out and cheer. He's my he did, quarterback. I he, he did that? I, I think not, not in so many words. But if you get to start against Texas, that lets you know you're the guy. If you play the whole game and they didn't, you're the guy. The offensive line needs some work. They need Now, that's what the work um, really needs to but, be. But you know one of the biggest things, though, even with the offensive line, who's our number one receiver? Number 17. That's what I'm saying, though. Listen. Last few years, we've had a legit number one receiver. We've had two or three yeah. that can say, you know what? Oh, this this is our guy. We've had guys. This year, e- even when we lost Messi and Williamson, mm-hmm. we lost both of them in the championship, championship game. Man. Nobody stepped up. Nobody. There was nobody to say, you know what? A lot what? of drop passes. It was a lot of drop passes. On, on, in, a, in a game, we should have won. We should have beat Jordan yeah. again. I'll just say, I, and, I, and that Williams, Williamson injury, I'm still gonna blame Bryce Young for that. You underthrew the ball. You made him stop and come back. If you'd have led him, yeah. I don't think he would got hurt that day. Probably not, but you know. Yeah, it's man. always listen. It's always hindsight is yes. everybody's smarter <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, today. Thing, yeah. yeah. Well Lorenzo, we we this 45 minutes that we do go by pretty fast. And uh, hopefully I can scavenge him and get him to come back. And, and do another episode since he ain't about 20 <laughs> yards away. <laughs> yeah, the road. 20, yeah, yeah. 
So, uh, but we'll be back next week. We're going to have another episode. We're going to go over some more, uh, some more things that we didn't get to go over today. But we will be back on the heart and soul in sports. And remember, and remember if you don't have heart and soul, you don't have, you're not in sports. Peace out. Tony, special guest Lorenzo. And like I say, maybe it won't take me three weeks to get him this time. But it's, it's, it's. We should. But we'll see y'all next week.